Hello, how you doing? I'm Brent, welcome to my world. Uh, I'm getting ready to take a walkabout around the house. I do it for 30, <laughs> 30 minutes. I gotta do something, I'm, I can't go anywhere. We're in lockdown and uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta do something. But uh, for the I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna video the whole 30 minutes cause it's like boring. But I'll do the first one and you can see about the surroundings of the house and what it looks like. Nothing special. It's your typical home in the Philippines. But uh, that's what I'll do. All right. So here we go. This is exciting. Put your seatbelts on. And also I'll let you look. Miles has been growing a lot of stuff around the house. And everything, from what she tells me, and I ain't no expert, but everything that she grows in her garden, you can eat, even the leaves. I tried it, it ain't bad. It kind of has the texture of like spinach, but this is her garden. All these green stuff, which we call leaves, they call vegetables. Yes, they do eat regular vegetables, but, and back here, Got a lot of, <clears throat> ow, I'm sorry, that hurt. Uh, got a lot of stuff growing. Got these trees here. And for some reason, I cannot remember the name right now, but they are, God, I can't remember the name. I just went blank, but I'll, I'll remember the name. You see all back here. Now this back here is not my property. You see that hut back there? That's not a house. That's where a guy keeps uh, his tools and stuff. He, lives, he, he kind of has trees and stuff growing back here. I got a little... Yeah, I've been doing... No, I haven't... I ain't going to lie. I started the painting, but I kind of stopped with it. I got, I got no motivation. Man. No motivation whatsoever. And here's some of the other green stuff as she calls vegetables and we call them leaves but they do eat them and I've had taste them like I said before kind of has like a texture of spinach so everything in her garden she grows is edible at least that's what she tells me unless she's trying to poison me so if anything ever happens to me ask for investigation no I'm just joking but all this I know it looks like this a bunch of uh, got plants. And there's muck, mucky. I have no idea what kind of dog he is. Some people say he's got shepherd, whatever, whatever, whatever. He's a mutt. But he's a good boy. Isn't that right, Mark? Mucky. Why are you ignoring me? How you doing, bud? You being good? That's Mucky. This is the rest of her garden. She's got a lot of flowers. She's got tomato plants. And here's her other flowers. They're pretty. Kind of brings life into the you know to the yard i mean she's got a green thumb she could throw seeds down come back a week later a week later something's growing i don't touch them because they'll die she's also got some eggplants growing here you want to walk with me muck i don't know where they're at but i know she had some oh, oh here they are uh, not eggplants. yeah eggplants here's a egg See the eggplants? No peppers. Never mind, no peppers. Oh, here's an eggplant she needs to get up. I don't touch them, man, because everything I touch dies, so I just leave it alone. I water it for her, but that's really about it. Right now, we're in dry season, so she has to, has to be watered every day. And there's Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Hi, pretty girl. There's Mark. Hey, Mark. You gonna say hello? No? 
Okay. Too busy? I got you. I understand. And this is the... This is our containing, containment fence. Oh, I want to show you. I, I was telling you all about my truck. This truck is the ugliest truck in the world. <laughs> I'll check it out. It's called a Rusco. Okay? No, you will never find these in the States. Nobody would, would, nobody would drive it. Okay? And that's my motorcycle, the Suzuki. But it's a Rusco. And uh, believe it or not, it's a, it's a four wheel drive. Okay? At least that's what the sticker says. I only tried it once. It didn't do too bad. It didn't do too bad. But this truck, it's a, I don't know, it's a utility truck, I guess you could say. But that's the back of it. It's got seats in it. It's got a little canopy. Now, the, the front wheels are underneath the driver's seat. Now, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. This is the truck, okay? It's your standard piece of junk. <laughs> See, it's got two high, four high, neutral, and four low. But your basic truck, I think I paid brand new. I think I paid like twelve hundred dollars for it, brand new. So that time, and <coughs> doing some trying to figure out because I had to get fit work on it. You know, and uh, it's made by Suzuki. Ruski puts Ruski puts it out, but it's made by Suzuki. But I'll tell you, it's a two-cylinder. It goes, I drove from here to, uh, sorry about that. I drove from here, Badak, all the way to Blasam. It's about 200 miles. The problem is you have to go through mountains, okay? And uh, from my understanding is that when the rainy season hits, you really don't want to go because it rains so much that they have uh, mudslides and stuff like that. So, uh that's why a lot of people in the Philippines, if they own a vehicle, it's a four-wheel drive. Because you don't know what you want to run up against. But, uh, yeah, it's... Hey, it's I own it, so I don't, I don't owe any money on it. So, And like I said, my, the motorcycle, I haven't taken that out. I haven't drove it since I've been here, since January. Because, uh... I, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I got no excuse. I just haven't driven it. But, uh... Oh yeah, and this is our, this is the guest bedroom right here, the window. Yeah, they got bars on, it's just a thing in Philippines, put bars on your windows. And I don't know why, but I just live with it. But also it's got a air conditioning, a split system. In other words, the blow and everything's inside the house and the fan is outside. Just like central, there is no central air in, in the Philippines. You ain't gonna find it. They don't, they probably, if you ask them to look at you like you lost your mind. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, all right, I'm going to let you go for, the, for right now. Because, like I said, I got I, I to get out and walk, man. I got to do it. And uh, this is our terrace slash porch slash whatever. And uh, here, I'll, I'll take a, uh, I'll get back. There's, there's Mimi. That's Queen Mimi. She's a good girl. You're kind of, you're a typical Side you can't see because of the sun, but this is the house. This is the point of the house. It's my, you know, I, I like it. Four bedrooms, two baths, living room, dining room. I only paid 30 grand for it, cash. Well, houses ain't like that on the states, so not overinflated. But uh, I like it. All right, I'll let you all go for now, and I'll get back with you in a little bit. I got to do my 30-minute walk, and uh, talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm done my 30-minute walk, but this tree I was pointing to, I couldn't think of the name of the mangoes. Now, all the way back there, I don't know if you could see it, but you see there's two big limbs. That's called a sweet and sour 
Tooth Fruit. Now, if you look that up on the internet, which I did, it has known cure for cancer. What kind of cancer, I don't know. They didn't get into depth about it. But, uh, yeah, it's all natural. And all these leaves here, <laughs> these are uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And also, you can eat the leaves. And I, one time she did make it, and it tastes like sweet potato. That was, was weird. And uh, over here, she's got some alloys growing. Alloy, whatever you want to call it. But uh, right there, she got them. She brought them back from uh, Hong Kong. There's a couple more here, alloy plants. But everything, like I said before, everything that she grows here, with the exception of the flowers, of course, uh, can be eaten. And 90% of them have uh, nutritional value to them, like vitamin C and D and E and all those others. And uh, yeah, it's it's. I mean, she gives her something to do. And plus, she's she's more of a vegetarian than anything else. She would eat vegetables over meat anytime. And uh, here's the peppers right here. Peppers. I think it's pretty cool, you know. Like I said, she could throw seeds on the ground, come back a week later, and it's growing. Me, I throw on the ground, everything around it dies. And this is all sweet potatoes. And also, you can eat the leaves, which they do. But, uh, let me turn my camera around. I don't know if I can. Okay, well, I'll let you go. Well, I'll end it for this, this time segment, and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Well, I'll let you go now. But this is this is what it, this is what I live. You know, I got I got my port, I got my fence up to keep the undesirable people out. <laughs> and this is the house. I enjoy it. It's paid for. I don't owe anybody any money. They can't take it away. Well, maybe they could take it away from me, but hopefully not. <laughs> and there's the porch. Miles mess messing with Mimi again. But I'll let you all go. Y'all have a good day. Stay healthy and stay safe. Love you. Bye.